<laughs> and you know what? At this point right now, it isn't. I and and it's, I'm being honest. It isn't even a stupid Howie going off at the mouth. You know, it's not even that. Fine. He wants to come up with some subject to fill some time on his show. Right. And it, it happens to be us. He wants to spin our, yeah, our, our to that's shit. That's fine. We just want to be able to what, respond. Whatever. I want to be able to respond. And I don't want and the, way the, we know the how bullshit, to respond. the bullshit that comes out of the mouth of certain management over there uh, that tries to tell me that we're wrong for uh, responding when we just got shit on. Uh, and, and then we're not supposed to like respond to it, right? And I tell I, I tell him I say, well, do you honestly think our listeners, uh, we can have any credibility with our listeners if we don't address it? Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't know. And then they try to tell us right. about our listeners oh, yeah. and how they are yeah. with the show yeah. after years of doing the show. Right. They're going to tell yeah. us we're how we're supposed to talk to our listeners and stuff. Just shut up. And just, just stop it. And I don't think there's a, a show or a radio guy in management, uh, 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 the people that own the companies that truly understand how interactive we've been with our listeners yeah. since the beginning. Yeah, day one. So don't yeah. tell us, oh, that doesn't really matter with your listeners. No, blah, blah, blah. no, you don't understand. We're, See, the listener. We're actually accessible. I, we at, have a cult. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I was at F. I was at FH at FH hanging out like a you know, and people come up to me like you, you you don't have Kenny with you you don't have I can't believe you're here just just hanging out without bodyguards and stuff I'm like, bodyguards I'm like that's not our thing we get out there and hang with the people I figured I was going moron list tonight <laughs> right yeah exactly <laughs> it's not, that's not our thing never has really I mean we need them at times because you got you guys tend to be animals but <laughs> it's true but. But you know yeah. we're not you know rolling around town in limos and being completely separated from our listeners. Very accessible. We'll sign for a long time after every show. We stand there and sign. Dude, we take pictures yeah, and autographs yeah. every day. We get we have a live audience every day that we just allow up. No one does that. Ugh, so this, so we got to deal with that and guaranteed. Like I said, guaranteed. And believe me, I'll I'll let you in on it tomorrow. I guarantee we just catch shit for this. Oh, well. Someone's going to make, but they're all panicky making phone calls. <laughs> what did he say? Well, why we couldn't listen to the thing first right. and, th and then do nothing? Right. Because that's what happens. We should have uh, Fat E Rock there uh, transcribe the, uh, a couple of the fun little things and have David play Howard. I told. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Who wants to play? <laughs> I the last time we got bitched out for this, <laughs> last time we got bitch smacked. I don't for know this. why you're not appreciating appreciating my little bit there. It's oh, I am. A, I'm just very angry it's this kind morning. Of a good one, man. I'm angry this morning. <laughs> I think I got the. <laughs> you can do it yourself on the phone if you like. <laughs> <laughs> the, the last time we got uh, bitched out for this, yeah. Um, I I came out with, uh, hey, okay. Is he going to get the same discussion that oh, we just got? Right. And then I heard this. I actually heard this out of uh, one of the suit's mouths. Someone will talk to him. <laughs> yeah. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. Uh, and did you talk to him? Uh, and what happened? And now what are the repercussions going to be that he uh, opened his yap again and bashed us for the greater good of the company? What, what is that about? Yeah, because they shoved that in our face many oh, times. Oh, did they fucking so stick like, it right, right down our That's crawl. why I wrote the professional email yesterday with a nice yeah. CC to the big guy. I'm like, look, how does that... Because that's what, that's what people would ask us. Not like, you're idiots, blah, blah, blah. They would like do it that way. Well, how does this help? How does this help? How does this help our company? <laughs> I, I'm still waiting for a, a good answer on how that helped us. Knowing that so many people might, you know, has, have the satellite already... And all of a sudden, we're in the news. We're going to be in the news and hot for a mere two days. That's how it works. Yeah. And then, then, then it go. They go on to the next story. But yesterday was Opie and Anthony very hot on everyone's radar, and you got uh, Howard talking about us in a bad way. Who in their right mind is going to go? You know what? I got this satellite. Maybe I'll check them out a little bit. Yeah. Which would lead to them maybe becoming fans, which would lead to maybe them telling their friends about us. Yeah. That's how it works in the business world. But to have your, your quote, and I say quote, trust me. Yeah. I don't give a shit. Quote, your big star. 
you know, uh, trashing us on the day that we're on everyone's radar. Really, how does that help yeah, us? Yeah, how does that help the company? Why don't you go to him and ask him, sit him down in a little meeting and yell in his face. Yell in his face so your spit hits his fucking face, <gasps> like I remember, and, and tell him uh, how that helps the company. You're never going to do that. Bunch of scared shitless suits just over there kissing his fucking ass uh, to, the, to the trashing of everyone else. Good. Good. That worked really good for the company. Apparently, your strategies are working very well. I think some suits need their heads rolling over there. Please. Enough. Christ. I think I'm going to buy 18 billion shares today. I got some change in my pocket. <laughs> Jesus. Well, fuck them, man. <laughs> Greater good of the company. We sat down. We were good soldiers being good boys. And what? Yeah, that really did well. So why don't you let us fucking do radio the way we know how to do it, without your, your bullshit interference. Let us fucking do radio. We know our listeners. We know how to do fucking radio. Stop. Count beans. Count your fucking beans. <clears throat> I can't wait to get yelled at for this. I well, can't wait. People are going to be confused. I, I think the headline really is simple. You know, he can say whatever the fuck he wants, but let us defend ourselves. Yeah, exactly. That's it. That's because, called radio. Because what happens is we'll defend ourselves like we did, and now we'll definitely be in trouble for this. Definitely, it's oh, not even. It's, it's not even a question. Not even a question. And we wouldn't have said shit. Not a peep. We wouldn't have said shit. Good soldiers like we've been over over the years. Good fucking soldiers that we've been. And the only time we ever open our mouth is when we get shit on. Oh, you know, we used to take our shots uh, unprovoked, uh, sure, many years ago, but for really really long time we haven't said shit until he says something first and the bottom line that is, is yeah. a fact that they can look up themselves and the bottom line is like opie said how is this good for the company with him trashing us on the day that we were in the paper and in on the radar how does that help in the, the news company? We, i mean we were i mean Could, even if we he had kept major his mouth exposure shut. yesterday even major. if he just kept his mouth shut it would have been better uh, you know, could he have said something like, hey, look who's exclusive now to satellite radio. Uh, boy, if you were listening, you could sign up now. Things right. like, I would never expect that. Believe oh, me, that's in, a, that's in a fucking LSD hallucination. Well, that delusional, that, that delusional idiot's going to spin that now. I don't, I don't, I don't need him kissing our ass. I don't need him going, oh, how, never look happened. how great this is. But I certainly, you know, don't appreciate being trashed. Would never happen yeah, well the financial fine. interest is also because this, this show if you listen if stern's fans hear that they can get this show on a pay package so it's also a financial interest to not shit exactly on the show because then people send it for money it's good for the company yep. it's good, good for the company and then there's when still we a lot do of it, people that have serious they don't have the best of xm exactly. so that's what i'm getting at right all of a sudden but why would they get it if howard's calling us failures yeah well, why would they get it Really? I oh. wouldn't. Boy, Opie and Anthony. Wow, yeah. The, all the, what, if that's all, all I knew down. and, and a, a, the big, quote, star is telling me, you know, their failures, I'm not fucking going and, and checking them out. How will the suits spin this one so they could fucking once again just yell in, in our faces uh, for us just responding to an unprovoked uh, attack? Maybe he's smart. He figured out he would get his uh, name in the news by jumping on our little exposure yeah, we yeah, got yesterday. It. Good luck. The only thing I can see <clears> in the news <throat> these days is when your wife does something for animals. It's the only fucking time I ever <laughs> hear your name. And the wife of Howard Stern was at the North Shore Animal League. And the wife of Howard Stern was seen at a polo game. And the wife of Howard Stern... That's the only time you're in the fucking news. When was one thing you did on the air that actually hit the fucking newspaper? So stop about under the radar. Enough. <laughs> and Bubba talking about radar. Stop it. The United States military thinks it's a meteor hitting the planet. That's how he's on the radar. I think he was uh, the cause of that noise in Jersey the other day. Yeah, what was that? They said another meteor. Another hits. meteor? Somewhere in Jersey, and they're looking for pieces. Was he jumping up and down? I won't, I won't, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid Bubba, that dumb redneck hillbilly. God, just saddled with him now. What an idiot. Saddled. <laughs> oh, God damn. I, 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 ran, I ran to Scott Farrell over there, and uh, I... I, uh, I I wrote a little something about it, and we sort of made up, and he was really cool and stuff. 
about everything and apologize and said he's always loved us and this and that. Whatever. We had a long discussion. He goes, ah, I got to tell you, that Bubba really wants to punch you in the face. I'm like, stop. With does he? Fucking does he really? With the real violence. Wow. Shit. Wow, Enough. I'm scared of Bubba the Love Sponge. God. You might want to smell my fist before you decide to punch me in the face, fatso. <laughs> They smell, I just, like, uh, they smell like shit. Let me just go off on a little tangent. We'll get back to that.